Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the uh, Saint Just. I think that's how you say his name. It's like Saint Just, excuse me. Uh, guys, he's a six foot tall player at a high medium work rate, left footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So this is the type of card that you will mainly use in the midfield setup or you mainly use him in that left mid position, depending on the person, right? Uh, we're mostly gonna be using him in that left mid position because it's gonna allow us to uh, practice and, and test out his attack as well as his defense, right? Because the card is pretty tall. He's got attacking and defensive capabilities. We are going to be giving him the shooting and defending boost, right? So, uh, Just. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right. You guys know me with the Bundesliga players. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be giving him the Guardian or is it Gladiator? Gladiator, right? Yeah. Gladiator chemistry style will be boosting his shooting to be at a 99 for finishing, 99 for shot power, while giving him some extra defensive stats for a car that's going to be pushing forward and coming back, right? With this card, he's a six foot tall player with a lean body type, right? So that's something that we're going to have to experiment with in game, see what it's like. But Base card stats in the card is already at a 98 for acceleration, 99 for sprint speed, which is definitely very, very solid. In-game player traits, the card is... I don't know why this still exists in the game, but he has the injury-prone trait. <laughs> uh, base card stats for passing, also going to be in a, a very good area with a four-star weak foot, 84 for composure. Not too bad there for someone that's giving you links, depending on the type of team that you are building. Uh, the four-star, four-star capability is definitely a huge plus to have for a player that's pushing forward and coming back. Uh, defensive stats will be in a pretty decent area on the Gladiator chemistry style, and then base card stats for physical is all going to be in the 90s uh, to be able to attack and defend in certain scenarios. So what's interesting is something that people don't look at a lot is when people are activating pressure tactics and you're using a three back formation, it is really nice to have a taller player that has high jumping to be able to win that first ball in the air because pressure tactics are completely overpowered in this game and don't really allow you to move. So definitely very important that he has uh, those capabilities on the card, right? So in game guys, you know the team, we're uh, switching the team constantly. So he's mainly gonna be in like a Bundesliga team giving soft links for the most part. This is when we were trying out like Alfonso Davies as well. So um, yeah, we'll be using him in the left mid position for the three back formation. So the left mid position will be over here. It'll just be the comeback and defense instruction, nothing else, uh, because this way we'll be able to test out the card, pushing forward, coming back, offering attacking support, as well as offering defensive support. So we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. You let me down there a little bit, knock a lot of you. Get it the second time. Oh. So his running animation is not um, super agile, right? Like you can kind of tell that he has that like physical thing behind it. Good job, Saint. Oh, it was a good initial uh, defensive play though. Hey, at least he tries to go for it. Yeah, even though we get the ball, it's that dribble. Like, you could definitely tell he has that thing behind it, you know? To use it a little bit. It does track the entire time, at least there. like that typical meta fifa 22 goal oh saint juiced oh that's a good curl on it eh? not too bad not too bad He actually scored that. Good stuff. Saint Just with a defensive play. Oh. 
Okay, and it's offside. This is a good cross, though. Fantastic. No, I missed out. You know what? His strikes with his left foot aren't too bad. I'm hitting him super low percent strikes here, and he's still doing well. Ah, oh, get it! No! I mean, technically, he did help out there, so... Oh, man. Sometimes I go for, like, the driven cross because I want the animation to kind of, like, hit the player from, like, their chest or, like, midway so I can go for, like, a first-time volley. Oh, got him on the commitment there. So I got the uh, the touch off, but obviously because of the emphasis, we lose possession of the ball, like the pressure tactics and stuff. Nicely done. Ooh, almost, almost. Gotta give those a try. It's gonna be out. Unlucky. Oh, I tried to like commit to uh, Ruben, D Ruben Diaz there, but couldn't get it off. Yeah, those are the ones. When you put more power, you have to like really feel out the dip shot. You gotta, you gotta try to get it as much as possible. No, too much emphasis. Oh, nice try. Those 45s are not that good. No, I shouldn't have dribbled again. Bad play, bad play. That drag that he does sometimes. To be fair, him uh, winning that engagement in the air, those are like really important to be able to do. I try. I never shoot from that angle because I know that's not a high percent strike. Like, you just can't really hit those bad boys. White! Oh. Thank you. See, like, you can see from his running animation, like, that, that's already going to be, like, a bad sign for most players in the game. Because you kind of want them to feel a little bit more agile when they're running, when they're moving, moving on the ball and stuff. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Saint Just card. I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, okay? Uh, but listen, we gave him the Gladiator chemistry style, guys, to be able to improve the shooting and defense as much as possible on the card uh, because it is a card that you are mainly going to be using in the attacking and defensive way. Uh, this card, for me personally, is a card that I would keep on stay back while attacking as one of my CDMs, right? If you want to use them in that way. Uh, I would keep him in the left mid position as well. But he, the thing about this card, right? And this is obvious because of the fact that he was a center back at the time, right? But this card, it's interesting because he almost feels like an actual center back that has been massively improved to be used in the left mid position. The main reason why I'm saying this is because you notice it 
with the dribbling on the ball and you notice it with the off the ball movement just from running right so in this game i feel like it's very important to have a player that feels more agile behind his run and if they are physical or they feel the way that he does they have to compensate like crazy in the defensive areas right so that animation that he has with his running style and his movement on the ball that's the thing that kind of i feel like comes from his center back cards right so as long as you're using this card in that left mid area left center defense mid area stay back while attacking left center mid then the card will be perfectly fine to use i don't think he's that special though you know it's a card that definitely makes sense that like he's you know around 62k uh it's a card that i could see being used as fodder in the future depending on um the price of where it's at whether or not ea requires shapeshifter cards for sbcs we will see right uh but the thing is though guys is that i still like the concept of the sbc because he's an attacking and defensive oriented card so it's not like it's terrible but it's just nothing special right uh the positions right wing right mid you're not gonna find a person that has defensive capabilities like this card unless it's cali judy but cali judy is different because that card you use mainly as a center mid or cdm playing through the middle and by the ways one of the best valued sbcs this year because he can still be an absolute monster in the game nowadays as well at 48k cannot go wrong with that but um yeah for the concept of the SBC, or not the SBC, the concept of the actual card itself on the transfer market, it's a card that allows you to attack and defend with, that gives you those Bundesliga links. Nothing too crazy, because if we actually take a look at his links in game, uh, perfect link, he has this guy, if you, I guess if you're a fan of this team, it's actually a W for you, but Bundesliga, no, Frimpong. Oh, that's an easy link up with Frimpong, actually. Frimpong is nothing special either, but he's still decent enough to use in the meta of the game. Malin, if you still have him. Core. Oh, there's a few guys you can actually work with, to be fair. As a 4-3-3 setup basic, you already have that link up just like that. Yeah. That's not too bad then. I don't mind it for 61k, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.